Hello and welcome to day four of the E Chord Bootcamp, where we are learning how to master E Chord and how to include it in songs so that we can transition in and out of it. In the past, we've talked about ukulele placement, body placement, thumb placement, wrist, and its importance in avoiding carpal tunnel and arthritis and pain. So make sure that you catch the previous videos. And a way to do it, if you've already watched them but you want to review, is have the videos playing while you're preparing a meal or brushing your teeth. You might pick up on a tip that you missed because you were busy working through the video. So today what I'd love for us to do is to play a full E chord because tomorrow we need to be playing the song already. So let's just get straight to it. Give me the middle finger on fret four and breathe. Feels better already. And middle finger on fret four, the thumb is around the third fret right now. Make sure that wrist is unbent. And then put the ring finger behind the middle finger. Yeah, and you should be pivoting already naturally, so pivot like a door hinge. And then make that pinky fret behind the fourth uh, fret or behind the ring finger as well. So now you really should be pivoting everything. Now let's just test those strings. And if you're getting this, just make sure that you're pulling back on the ukulele and that this hand, look up, look up, the strumming hand is also pulling back to help you create some tension. Another way to do it is just to practice. And there's like a guitarist tool to strengthen the muscles and ukulele players can benefit from that too. So let go. I have the ring, the middle ring and pinky on the fourth fret, and I'm pivoting that hand way up. I haven't added the finger, index finger yet. I just want to get these guys working. Now let go. And now this time, let's work backwards. Put the index finger down first, and pivot that slightly, and now put the middle finger down where it needs to go. So the index finger is on the second fret of A string, and the middle finger is on the fourth fret of G string. And for right now, just put down the ring finger. And if you can, put down that pinky. And see if it works. Let me know in the comments if it's coming out yet. And relax. We're gonna do that one more time, working backwards, starting on the index finger, ready? Index finger on the second fret of A string, pivot, middle finger on the fourth fret of G, and then the other fingers just kind of lay down where they need to be. If your ukulele is way down here, if your thumb is way up here, it's not going to work. Make sure you drop the thumb, open the wrist, breathe, and bring the ukulele up. All those little steps really, really matter. If I was doing this, it just, look at how it sounds for me. I'm gonna drop, drop the thumb, open, open the hand, position and wiggle, and then this is it. And also know that not all of the strings will ring perfectly every time. Sometimes you switch into it and you just catch the ukulele in a weird position where you get this. That happens. As long as you've got some ringing strings, you're already playing the chord, and as you gain more strength, it'll sound better. So for today, your homework is just to go index, middle, ring, pinky, strum. Index, middle, ring, pinky, strum. And index, middle, ring, pinky, strum. This is boot camp after all. And tomorrow on our fi final day, what we're gonna do is play the E chord and we've been working already on that A minor. We worked on switching to that F major seven before and we worked on switching to an E type chord. So you have all of the foundation. We just need to take that little baby step to finish, finish our course. So come back tomorrow for that tutorial and I'll see you there. Ciao.